I have another plan with me for you today for the week of June 19th through the 25th. I'm using this Lexi Kylie Designs Mystery Kit. It was her July Mystery Kit, and it's like this summer pool theme. So I was super excited to use this for the first week of summer. If you notice any weird gesturing during this part, I'm going through and showing you all of the sheets that come in the kit. If you notice any gesturing, I originally filmed this as a chatty talk-through plan with me, which I will have linked down below if you're interested in watching that version. But I basically um, took the same footage and made it into two different plan with me. So if you like that style where it's longer and more um, talkative, you can go ahead and watch that one. Or if you want to watch the sped up voiceover version, we have this one. So I started off with the bottom washi and right now I'm going through and putting down all of the glitter headers, date cover-ups, and the whole sidebar. All of this is exactly the same as I do every single week, so this should be nothing new. So I'm speeding through this part really fast and then we get started planning day by day. Okay, so now that that's all down, we go ahead and start planning Monday. First thing I did was put down this page flag from the kit. It's this little watermelon pattern, which looks kind of funny sideways, but that's okay. Um, then I put down an upload sticker from my shop to mark that I needed to upload my plan with me from last week. Then I half box with a little Coffee Monsters Co. and Lodi dropping off um, some mail. So in my case, I was dropping off orders. After I went to the post office, I went and picked up some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts because I had completely run out at my house, and I was definitely really tired that day, and so I had to stop and grab some coffee before picking up before, I, before going home and working. So in the middle, I put down a three heart checklist from the kit and marked down a few different things that I had to do for the shop. I had to design um, $2 Tuesday, and then put up a preview for that on Instagram and Facebook, and then work a little bit more on the kits for the week. Down at the bottom, I put down a full box just to fill up the space, and then a quarter box to mark that I had a sushi date with my friends, and those little sushi stickers are from my shop, Rack Paper Stickers. Up at the top of Tuesday, I put down a full box to block off some time, and those two munchkins are from Once More With Love. They're, um, well, the first one is an insomnia munchkin, and then the second one says, I have done nothing at all today because after I got home from sushi, I came home, finished designing a couple things, and then accidentally stayed up all night. Well, not accidentally, but like just could not fall asleep, and I pulled a complete all-nighter, didn't fall asleep until morning the next day so at like 7 30 in the morning I finally fell asleep so I literally got nothing done all day so that munchkin was me then I put down a payday sticker from the kit as well as a little page flag and then a stork sticker from my shop to mark my friend's uh, week turnover for her pregnancy then I put down a quarter box to mark that it was two dollar Tuesday as well as a page flag and a lazy day sticker from the kit I put down a half box to mark that I had to go to my friend's house to watch her um, dog and cat while she is in Italy and our other friend that was supposed to be watching them had to work that night so I was on duty. <laughs> on Wednesday morning I again didn't sleep at all Tuesday night. I got home from watching the animals and completely stayed awake all night again so that was terrible but early Wednesday morning I decided to just like get out of bed instead of just laying there miserable that I hadn't slept. <laughs> and I got in a really early workout, so it was like five or six in the morning, which was like unheard of for me. So that was cool, I guess. And then I put down a quarter box for a meeting I had to go to, and that little alarm clock sticker is from the kit as well. That little grocery basket is from the kit, and that was just to mark that I had to go to the grocery store after my meeting. Then I put down that full box that says summer, and that was because that day, Wednesday, was the first day officially of summer. And then I put down a checklist down at the bottom with a midweek spread um, sticker that she actually includes in her kits, which I thought was really cool. And then I put down 
a checklist full of things that I have to do for the shop, like a whole bunch of designing and stuff. After that, I put down a full box up at the top of Thursday and a half box to mark some um, stuff I had to send out for a shop swap that I was doing. And then I put down a quarter box with a car sticker and an exclamation point icon dot to mark that I had to go to Staples to pick up some stuff for the shop to get it ready to become ready to ship. So after that, I put down a credit card due sticker from my shop that was for my Ulta credit card, my last Ulta credit card payment, hooray, and then a couple of washi strips um, to kind of border this half box checklist that I put down. It was just a small to clean list, so I put down the, her trash day stickers, which I love, and her little cleaning bucket, and then wrote down a couple of things that I wanted to clean up around the house. After that, I put down a quarter box and that little Mac sticker from the, kit, from the kit, and I think it's really cute that it includes the pattern like on the screen. I think that's a really cute touch. Just for some designing that I wanted to get done that night. On the top of Friday, I put down a coffee cup, and that Rise and Grind sticker is actually from my shop, from the coffee in quotes sheet. So the coffee cup is from the kit, but the quote is from my shop. I hope that made sense. Then I put down a page flag and this little munchkin, and I did a lot of rearranging of this little box for some reason. I just like kept putting it down and peeling it back up, and I should have probably edited, edited that out, but sometimes you gotta keep it real. So then I put down a um, quarter box and a little mailbox from Little Red Prince to mark that I shipped out just a couple more orders that I had gotten done, and then moved on and put a full box down in the center. I love that little flamingo floaty. It's probably my second favorite box. My first favorite being the um, summer one from Wednesday. So then I put down a half box uh, down at the bottom and that little organized sticker is from Sweet Pink Elephant to mark that I wanted to kind of start organizing the sticker organizer that I had picked up the day before at Staples. I put down a little Amazon delivery sticker from Bubba Bear Studio and used that to mark that I was getting some stuff delivered that I actually ordered for my dog <laughs> randomly. And then I put down a quarter box with a glitter page flag built into it, which is super cute. But then I covered it up with that once more with love munchkin working on her silhouette to mark that I was working on orders that night. On the top of the weekend, I put down the weekend banner and then moved on and put down some um, full boxes for the rest of the weekend and then went back and started planning Saturday. I put down that half box with the cute little page flag built into it and then wrote down that I had to pick up my friend Lauren at the airport. She was finally coming home after two weeks in Italy. I was super excited to see her and then her plane got delayed out of Italy. She was delayed two hours which made her miss her connecting flight in Charlotte. So then they were trying to tell her that she couldn't fly back into Raleigh until the next morning. They ended up Ubering from Charlotte to Raleigh, which is like three hours, two or three hours, I don't know. But it was crazy. And so I didn't end up having to pick her up, but I still, I had that marked down because I had already planned it out in the morning. But anyways, on the morning of Saturday, I just put down some print and cut, cut munchkins from Once More With Love and then moved on to Sunday. I put down a quarter box to mark that I wanted to um, post my full week spread on Instagram, and then that little planner was for pre-planning, and normally I don't mark that stuff down because I kind of pre-plan as I go to, but that little planner was too cute not to use. So down at the bottom, I'm just filling in a checklist with some cleaning stuff I wanted to get done around the house, and I say this all the time, but I know that I have the same like list on the sidebar, but I sometimes like to put it in the day if it's going to be a big cleaning day or even just a few different things to clean. I like to have it in the day so that I know where my time went when I look back. So that is everything for this spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go through and show you all of the stickers that are left over from this kit. There are a ton of stickers left over. Definitely a jam-packed full kit that you can get for sure two spreads out of, maybe more if you try. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which style of plan with me you prefer, the chatty or the sped through. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.